Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders Hunt series. I am Mr. Success of Money, your host on this Traders journey, guys. If you're just watching my videos for the very first time, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications, give this video a like, and also leave me a comment because I'm sure by the end of this video, there'll be so much value for you to take home. And also, guys, a big happy new month to each and every one of you because today I'll be giving you guys an overview, right? I will preview on what to expect from the month, from the market for the month of July. I know the last, the first half of the year has been really crazy, right? I think really, really, really crazy. And I'll be showing you guys in my chat. You can see how that the market has just been within a range, especially basically for USD peers, right? But then JPY peers have been trending, right? And they've been making they've been making a lot of sense. And literally, if you guys have been following me, you'll notice that I've spent uh, actually trade more JPY peers lately than uh um uh, at three three the uh, USDPS but that's because of the market situation. USDPS have just been really 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 ranging, right? So I'll be giving you guys an overview of the markets for the month of July and also possibly and also what to expect from the market onwards, right? Because what very important thing I need you guys to know also is that is the fact that uh we are close we are closing in in the year and also getting close to the ember months ember months and you know what to expect from the ember months that market will or full of uh, if you think the first half I've been a month of consultation, wait till you enter in by month and you see what consultation and craziness really mean. Because then at that at that period a lot of top investors in the market will be taking out profits and all and there have been a lot of dramas too in the market the, the, the last uh, six months. Uh, the past six months have been really really crazy and really really tough. Right? That hasn't been the best of the year so far, right? It hasn't been the best of the year so far for a lot of uh, traders in the space, but then, right, as soldiers, we just keep moving, we just keep pushing, and also, very importantly, guys, I also ha have my mentorship uh, programs, I have my courses where I get to help a lot of traders become profitable in the space, where I get to help a lot of traders become profitable in the space, right, so, uh, if you're really looking out to sign up for my courses or my mentorship program, use the link down below on the description section, where you get to sign up for my end of my courses, end of my mentorship plan, we have the six months plan, we have the Three months plan, you have the one month plan, you also have the one year plan. So, whichever of these plans that works for you, fine and good. I'm always open, I'm willing to work with you because my goal here is to make sure that every good, every trader they get their desired result on profitability with the market, right? On profitability with the market. That's my goal, that's my dream, right? To see a lot of traders doing fine, doing well in the space. So, guys, um, if you're still watching my video up to now, please ensure to subscribe again. Subscribe because I'm about to take you guys to my next screen. Get to see my chart and get to see a proper breakdown of the markets for the month of July. A complete breakdown of the markets for the month of July. And also, what, what trading opportunities is the market cooking for us? What opportunities is the market cooking for us? So, guys, let's jump right in and get to see. Let's get to see all that. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my screen. Right? So, this is... Uh the x y you know the way i do it one of the things i like to do is is look out for the narrative right that actually sets the projection for the market and this one look at the x y and gpy basket first so you we, we all be clear about the direction about where what the market is actually doing right and this one look out for the x y and gpy basket so guys uh you know how we do it so since today is the by the way, this is me saying a happy new month to you guys, and also welcome to the second half of the year, right? And this second half of the year is where you have advice, right, that you take it easy on the market because this, if the, if the first half was rough, trust me, second half, the second half is usually very crazy, especially when we enter the ember period, right? And we talk about uh, October, November, December, October, November, because from late September, October, November. The market starts really getting, if you think we've been having range, then straight through this period. You see the market doing a lot of a lot of crazy shit, right? So since uh, December precisely, the market had been inside this range, right? Uh, the December the market has been inside this range, and up till now, we've not been able to break out of this range. Well, market has also been playing around this range. So June, the month of June ended with a bearish, this bearish candle that looks like a hammer, right? But then it's still very much bearish, right? So we are still trapped inside this range. So this is why the market has not just been flowing as usual, like we would want it to flow for the past months, right? 
that guy just been going up and down, up and down. You think you think you're making money before you know. As people who suffered a lot in this in the, in the market in the first half of the year had been swing traders. So I swing traders have seen a lot of shit. They've seen a lot of crazy in the market. So the, lately, the market has not always been the best for swing traders or, and even position traders. It has not been the best for these types of traders. Even me, if you've been following me on social media, I've noticed that lately, of late, I had just had to resolve into day trading so that at least I can be able to um, secure some good profits because it doesn't make sense holding to it. Um, before you know it, market reverses and takes off, take, takes, takes out all those profits, right? And I've had that happen to me for quite a number of times when market reverses. I was on credit profit before you know market reverse and hit me on break even, and I'm just, just crazy. Sometimes they're holding very profitable to even the market. One news event just happens and takes everything back, right? So it doesn't really, it really, I, I, I think this happened with me. I took a position on USD CHF, right? So this will come out plain to you guys. I thought that was on, uh, I think that was on Thursday. And I was on great, crazy profit, crazy profit on that trade. I, I actually had my position locked, two positions actually locked on that particular trade. And uh, I'll come out to the chart, right? And I'll show you guys this chart, that, the, that, that particular, what really happened. So I actually locked my position. Before you know it, I was on good profit and all. I went out to chill, right, with my, uh, because it was holiday, right, it was the solar break and also went to chill with family and, and all. By the time I came back to open that, sink that particular trade, market had reversed and took me out on break even. So it was, I was also pissed off. Right? So a lot of other stuff that have been happening in the first half that have been really crazy. But then this second half is one period where, I would advise you take your time through the market, right? A lot of mistakes have been made in the first half. A lot of, I know a lot of errors have been committed in the first half, but then this second half, you don't really get it right in the market, right? You want to really get it in the and, and right in the market by following just the market way it is. And so this me telling you guys right now and right here that this market condition is not favorable for you swingers or you position traders. So it is a market for you day trader. It's a market for you scalper. So but this is where you need to put in your 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 day trading armor if you really want to make this market right so you know i don't just talk i talk facts this is what this is what the chart is saying you can see it for yourself that this is just what the market is saying at this with this market situation this range you are trading a range you know that you have to be a short a range provided with short-term opportunities in the market so see what five sync opportunities provided with long-term opportunities in the market so this market situation is actually for short-term opportunities we all we all should be clear on that this market of this market situation is a short is for a short term opportunity. So just take what you can and get the hell out of the market. That's just it, right? So from the weekly time frame, the monthly time frame was not looking so cool because I love looking at the monthly time frame when the month has ended. So we see okay, what is the market that is saying? So up till now, we are still in the window that we I can't really project but if we're gonna break up or down, the market has not given us that go ahead yet, right? So the market has not given us that go ahead yet. So you can see we're just in plain coming down here, go up, down, go up a little bit, down, now about to go in up again. Right? So this is what the X has just it has just been moving like a snake. Like a rattlesnake, precisely. Bah, bah, bah. So the market is doing. Right, this 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 is our next target before we come down again. So hopefully when the of this will break, maybe the upside and we rally, or this might break to the downward and we drop. So what well, either ways, whatever the market does, we will just flow with the market. So for now, since we are, if we are still trapped inside this range, we just flow with the rhythm of the market. That is just guys, we just flow the rhythm of the market. So from the daily time frame, my right, the extra from the daily time frame, from the weekly time frame, we are still seeing this, this so, sign of soda. Mm -hmm. My physical speed is still with me. My physical teacher taught me, taught me well. So we are still seeing that, that sign of soda wave. The market giving those soda waves. Bang, 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 the troughs and the, what the troughs and the peak, yes, the troughs and the peak. So this is the peak, this is the trough. So we are just giving us, you know, so this is the standard soda wave. So when the, the X, Y is, from the day time frame is projecting, still projecting upwards. But I think it's going to rally up to the upside. So this, I'm looking at the, looking, looking at the naked chart now. I look at my course. I love looking at market from the daily time frame perspective in a way because it gives me the immediate reports. That's immediate report I need about the market to be able to take it out, right? So um, 
Daily is telling me, okay, guys, we are we are shooting up. Right? That's what Daily is saying. So what is four hours now saying? Four hours is saying, okay, we are actually shooting up, but there has been a situation. So and what is that situation? Let me show you guys. So this way I get to draw some of my lines. Uh, so my lines, these lines here. Yeah. Let me draw this line here. Yeah, this is okay. All right. So I think we're supposed to have another situation around here. Okay, maybe that's not, that's not necessary for now. So this is, this is the current situation of the market, and as it stands, uh, okay, you can still draw this. This um, on a forward time frame, right? You can look at this. Maybe you can choose to look at this from here like this. Like, okay, fine. We have a we have a trend, right? Like it's going up, down, going up, turn this trend, and it's about to rally back up. So I feel this level here. Uh, I think it's one level that market needs to really break to give us certainty on the strength of the US dollar, right? So you know, those of you been following me know that I <laughs> I don't just crack or talk stops. I show you the naked chart and we we'll look at it together. I'll print money out of it together. So there's nothing hidden, right? There are no. I'm not hiding anything from anybody here, but there are, but then the exclusive stops are only kept for my students. My right. exclusive stops are only kept for my students. So this is it, guys. This is it. This is it. So uh, the X Y currently is uh, is if I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm bullish on the X Y. That's the truth, right? I am bullish on the X Y. If you ask me, guys, me I am bullish on the X Y, and that is a gospel truth for me, for me to you guys. I'm really much, very much bullish on the XY. Right, so a break of this trend line is what to confirm that okay, the XY is falling. If not, I feel we're gonna back rally back up. Right, I feel we're gonna rally back up. My network is really misbehaving. This is Nigeria anyway. So I feel we're gonna rally back up and you know, get shit rolling. So this event, this what happened here was the news on Friday that really crashed market down and whoo. A lot of printers, a lot of guys made a lot of money on Friday, Friday, Friday. I actually did not trade on Friday. I don't like, I don't really like my Friday tweets, but last week Friday made me feel really bad for not participating in the market. Right, I felt really bad because of all the uh, crazy moves market did. I also had, I missed, I saw a lot of trading opportunities that I would have taken, but just that discipline in me said no success. We flew out Friday, so. If this happens, if I've, I've noticed the market for two Fridays, uh, two consecutive Fridays, last week and this week, market had, had, had given me had given me a consistent flow. These two days I've marked consistent flow over these two days. So I'm still looking at it. So every by next week, Friday, I might give it a test to test my hypothesis if it is true. But before I will now, I will now share with my students that, okay, we got actually trade of five, but this is what we need to do. So that information again is for the Forex Mastery students. And if you have not kept my course or sign up my mentorship program, the link is down below on the description section where you can get to uh or at genetics, visit our website or to at genetics digital so you can get to sign up for any of our courses at the Forex Mastery course or the Crypto Mastery course to sign up for any of our and take about any of our, our mentorship plans. And trust me, I'll be so glad to have you on board. I'll be so glad to work with you into profitability in the market. So, guys, but this is what uh, the XY is actually saying. And this is what the XY is doing. Right? This is what the XY is doing. This is what the XY is doing. So, for now, I'm still, me, I'm bullish on the XY. I feel this. I feel bad. It's gonna, okay, you can see the massive rejection around this level, around this trend. Right? So, you can see the massive rejection price is experiencing. So, I feel we're going to really, really see some, some, Crazy, crazy rallies on the XY, which means some massive dumps again, some massive dump in the market, right? Which means some massive dumps in the market. So this is my call on the XY. You can see how close, how clear and neat that is, right? So you can see how clear and neat that is. So guys, let's look, let's look out for the J. My network is really, really crazy, guys. At night, network is usually crazy at night. MTN. So guys, um, that's that about. Uh, I think that's that. This that just my this is my view and hypothesis on my projection on the XY. I feel we're gonna rally some more to the upside. I feel we're gonna rally some more to the upside before any crash. But if it, if that doesn't happen, 
Right? If you if you break down from here by Monday, then by Monday it might be give me that clear. By Monday evening, I'll be able, I should be able to see that uh, that happen, right? So I should be able to see that happen by Monday evening. So let's look at JPY baskets to see what really are the JPY JPY pairs doing. Again, I will look at since, since we are, we just finished uh, the month of June, we are entering into a new month, which is July. We just entered the month of July, so I like to look at the market from the monthly time frame. So, what are the market done in the last one month for the past for the several months so far? And market, what are the market done? So, I've been and I've called all this. I can I've called all this event that you are seeing right here and right now. So I've been calling them. So you can see the massive down, massive for right. So the, for, for the past three months, for the past three months, cheap wise basket has been falling, right? Has been falling, falling. Like the London Bridge that you guys were to school. Long, long bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Cheap wise basket is falling down, my dear lady. Why did they even end that song with my dear lady? <laughs> that's my dear lady. That's not my business. <laughs> ah, let's get this. Let's, let's print some money. Let's print some dollars, guys. So this is. Uh, okay, let me take all these lengths off. So I find myself in having clean charts, looking at the market from a very clear perspective. And before we start talking or talks, so you guys, you can see that this guy has actually breached this major, this long, this uh, lowest support. You've had to form another lower. Another lower, another all-time low on JPY basket. All right, um, it's still collapsing on the, it's still collapsing sideways, drop sideways, drop. Pull back the next now and drop. I feel we're gonna drop further. Why right? we're gonna drop further before a retest of this level then a continuous form. So from the weekly time frame, let's see what the market is really really saying to us. So from the weekly time frame, uh, we, we've seen it. Market is still very much bearish, right? Market very much, still very much bearish. You see the double top, and we are crashing down, baby. We're crashing down. So I feel we're gonna crash lower. We're gonna crash some low, some low. Then before we go back, um, keep some sideways movement or retest this level and uh, maybe sideways maybe before the fall, right before the fall. So. From the daily time frame, let's see what the market is saying from the daily time frame. So weekly time frame, multi type of saying sell, sell, sell on JPY basket. So you can see how that uh, JPY basket and UXY are just flowing in opposites. In a way, in a, from the weekly time frame, you can see that they are opposing each other's flow. So from the daily time frame, this guy is just forcing it down, right? The bulls are trying to drag, cause a drag and all. So the market is just forcing it down here. But say no. Market just forcing it down there. Trying to force it down, but market is still bulls are trying to fight on, but man, this market is for the sellers, guys. Market is for the sellers. So this guy's really very much bearish. So this so this guy is very much bearish. Just that uh for now it's just like looking like some sideways movements on the X Y before the massive falls will continue. And before the massive falls to the force will continue on JPY baskets. So let's look at it from the forward time frame just so we can map out some stuff. Right. So we can, so we can map out some stuff and be clear on what JPY basket will have to do for us to be to us. See to us a bit for us. Something will happen <laughs> this new week that we have entered, right? So and also be aware that this new week is NFP by Friday by NFP, which means uh, uh the week is it will be kind of slow because of NFP. It's coming with NFP, right? So the market will be kind of slow this week because of NFP. Anytime we have major news event like that, that week market will be kind of slow, really slow. So we might be having a lot of news event this new week. I've not checked my my uh, macro my macro data uh, table yet. I have not checked my detail for my macro data. So uh, I feel there'll be a lot of news events for the new week that we we'll have to be watch. We we'll have to be watchful of. So look at the market still dragging down, dragging down, dragging down, more like looking like around here, looking like we have a situation, but not really a situation, and this is not a situation. And it's just still very much a bearish, 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 still very much bearish. So from the four hour time frame, why am I going to shine dragging all this with you for you guys? 
Because let me do it for, for the for the love, right? For the love, right? For the love of the game. For the love of the game, for the love of mama. Right? So I can make mama proud. So this is it. I feel this guy is just this is still this is more like a wench tail, right? But it's just a comment. But this looks like a what's this like this is like a triangle, this is a descending triangle. And you know what that all that means? We're gonna be bleeding down. This guy's gonna be falling down, breaking down, and going lower. Right, so this is the same triangle. So any moment from Monday, Tuesday, we should be breaking down with this guy, and we should be expecting some strong buys on JPY baskets, right? Or JPY PS, I mean. And then we apply to this important thing, guys. Okay, so that is it about that. So the next thing is uh, you know, US. What's that guy? What has that guy done so far? Right, that's one. We last we know you. You know, you know how I do it. That's that's my favorite white pair. That's my favorite white dude. That's my favorite white dude. I love to look at this guy a lot, a lot, a lot because that's a lot. Me and the, me and you know you you always always have a business to talk about. We always have business to do. I right, so my network is a bit really slow today. It has been slow, anyways. <laughs> so let me not act as if I've not been aware that this has been slow all all this time. So. Let me clean all these lines, plenty lines we have here, so you can see how, so you can have a clear perspective of the market. All right, so you can have a clear perspective of the market. So this is for the past month now, for the past one month. Just like uh, the X Y Euro US has just been on this range. I just been playing around this support level. I just been playing around this support level. So I'm gonna break down. We can just like what the X Y was doing. Right, this guy doesn't plan on the support level. So, so let ending the month ending this way means that there's a possibility of continuing to bullish right to the upside. Right, the possibility of that happening. Possibility of that happening. So let's look at the, the monthly time frame. is not so clear. So look at it from the weekly time frame. Hopefully we start, we start getting some pictures. So you can see just like the X Y. This guy is also is also giving us and and solar waves. Right. But this is this is one situation I don't like. Where you see the XY, where you see the XY almost completely taking the form of uh, uh you when you see Euro USC taking the same exact pattern as the XY that is not it doesn't it's not looking as if there is a reversal, as if uh, Euro US is opposing that because naturally Euro US is supposed to oppose the flow of the XY but when both of them begin to be of the same, that's the, that, that is one, what, 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 that is more a critical range situation. Right? It's, 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 what, it's what I call, it's what I tag a critical, critical range situation. So you want to be careful. Right? This is not one of the best times you want to be staying, holding position long term, right? Because anything can happen. So there's no, right now there are no guarantees in the market. So before I can confidently tell you guys, okay, we can, I'm buying, I'm holding social number of peeps. But now I can't say that for now because of the situation we find ourselves, right? So you, you know, US is looking at say we are going up. The X Y is also looking at say we are going, but that, that's not supposed to be the case. We're supposed to be coming down, right? The X Y is switching up. This guy is supposed to be coming down. So and the, from uh, the current situation we have is this crazy range here, right? Crazy range that as we shy of this resistance here. Right. I've been trying to read this example, but I've been shy of it. So I feel uh, a fall is imminent, right? A fall is imminent. So for the past weeks, or for the past days, this is what this are this is the range you've been trading on. So it has not been easy. I think it's why a lot of traders have been blowing accounts, shooting accounts, and all that, right? That's because the market has just been on that critical range situation where you see it, you can see the flow. See, as you are going up, it will crash down. Look at if you are trying to push up, it crash down again. Going up again, another crash to the downside is imminent. Right? So uh from the four hour time for a let me see what I can throw plot here. Okay, plot this guy here. Okay, you just this is just a crazy range, guys. This was a crazy range situation. It's just a crazy, crazy range situation, crazy range situation that Personally, I won't like to say, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't advise you to get entangled, but if you must trade, just be, but just watch it, right? If you must trade, right? Just, just watch it, just watch it, right? So a lot of accounts have gone to the mode, 
on this market situation. So I know a lot of you guys will say, ah, bro, success. So, so trader has been trading this and making money. The point is understand yourself, understand your strategies, understand your your approach. You are not other traders, right? This is me showing you guys. I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm not printing out of the, I'm, this chart is not from my head. It's not my assumption. This is what the market is actually saying. And like my like my I will only tell you guys. Once market is giving structures that are not clear, that you don't understand. It means this that's market telling you guys to stay off it. But if you must trade it, be careful. Take. Be, this is not the market situation to hold long term again. I keep saying that this is the market situation you want to hold in the position long term, right? So you know, I think I made some money trading this too. I'm like, right? Taking just like I said, the market lately is just for short term, for short term gains. Not not something you want to do for long. Not it's not the market you want to play for a long period of time. If not, you get you're getting yourself, you're getting your hands burnt, right? Not be getting your hands burnt. Um, yeah, I think that is that. I'm, I think that there's some any other uh, critical stuff to discuss on Euro USD. I'll be doing that with my community, with my students again, right? So if you, if you get to be a part of my community, if you, if you get to sign up for my courses, my mentorship plans, please do that. Right? This is my advice to you. Please ensure to do that because. This is where I get to share the me the, the, the real meat is being shared. So how and when and what trade I'm gonna take and how I'm gonna take the trade and make money off it. That is strictly between me and my students, right? I know it's the public, that's not the information with the public. So guys, if you're not signed up for the forex mastery course or the crypto mastery course, you're missing a lot. Right, you're missing a lot. So again, let's look at um, GPP USD. So what is what is this dude saying? What is this dude, what is this dude saying from the morning time frame? This guy, all right, this guy, this guy, this dude has been on the range, has been on the range, has been on the range. I just seem to break and uh, put it here. Woo! Don't mind me, guys. Showing, I'm really tired. I'm I'm showing this video at night, so it's really not sure for me to be tired. Like, to feel this tired. Shooting on the Saturday night, Saturday night, it's almost 10 o'clock, 8.59. So it's about, it's actually 9 o'clock right now. 9 p.m. actually, 9 p.m. Shooting this video at 9 p.m. So, so it's only natural for me to be this tired. Alright, so this is the, this is the, uh, uh, you know, uh, GPUSD from the monthly time frame. And this guy looks really promising. It's trending upwards. Uh, this guy is trending upwards. And... The thing is, well, I, 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 I always say this. Some of these peers, right, sometimes they have their own trajectory, right? Sometimes they, sometimes they respect their own trajectory, right? That's why they are, they are, they are, uh, uh, they are in a way autonomous. That's why these peers, a lot of them, a lot of times, they, are, they can be said to be autonomous, right? They can have their own will and choose to follow it, right? So that, that's that's just the situation with GBP USD right now. GBP USD is trending. You can see it. We can also it's trending. But let's look at it from the weekly time frame and see the actual actual story that GBP USD is printing. Right. So although it is still saying or so that, but it is really trending to the upside. Right. It's clearly trending to the upside. It's clearly trending to the upside, so you can see it. Really looking good, really looking good. Trending with the upside, look at it from the daily time frame. So, from the time you can see what is really going on, right? This guy is really is doing well. So this dude is really trending to the upside. So, from the daily time frame, you have something like a morning star. So, for this, my students, you know what that means, right? Uh, I won't come to this one. We are going to again teach you guys candlestick patterns and all. So that has, I've already explained, I thought in the course, all the all the knowledge you need about the market and all that, it's all in the forex. It's all from beginners to the pro, all, all on the forex mastery program. But everything you need to be a great trader, from a newbie, from a novice to an amazing trader, all I, I have packaged all that for you, right? I packaged all that for you. So this is I feel something might happen from here. My continue pushing. Possibility anyway. This is not this is not for sure. What I feel is what 
the XC is what Euro US is saying right now. So I think I would also have to keep it give it its cap, right? Give it its cap. So this is story it's painting, this is story it's painting and uh So let's believe it. Nice. So let's just let's just let's, let's just believe it. So for now, say it's pretty much messy. Right, the market is pretty much messy. Very much, pretty much messy. So uh, let's just see what happens by Monday evening. Right. So let's see what happens by Monday evening. So Tuesday morning, and uh, from there, hopefully the market will be clearer. If we, if you are broken from here, we'll come down to so another rally and all that. So market will. Who have been give, give, who have given us a clearer picture by these times, right? By this time. So for now, I'm not also. I'm just showing you guys the projection, right? My job is just to show you guys, share the projection of the market with you guys, and uh, we pick it from there. So the next do this AUD USD. Right? AUD USD has been on a crazy, 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 crazy range. A crazy range in the past month, right? So you can see it. Crazy, crazy range inside this, uh, inside this cell. Hmm. Lord of mercy, right? I'm tired, right, guys? I'm really tired. So this is, uh, the X, this ADUS, remind me, my third is going to take a toll on me. So this is ADUS from the morning time frame. So look, it's looking really, so looking good, so looking clear. So, but more like we are coming, brushing down, forming the downward trend, and also. So this one too that loves to really, that really respects levels and respects trend. So once the X, if you it tells you I'm going up, going up. Tells you I'm coming down, then it's coming down. So from weekly time frame, this guy, is this dude is still not so clear. I see what it looks like, and we are just midpoint. So uh, this is not exactly the safe zone you want to enter this market you want to enter it from here or from this point here why right. it's not the safe time to really want to trade AUD USD but if you must you have to be very careful right if you must then you must be very 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 careful so let me see map or something here yeah. map or something yeah. something from here so I think this level is very important very level but this level has been a level that has opposed flow opposed flow come down oppose 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 it broke here and went back in right now. Came down, coming down, down here now. We have, we have more like a uh, more say those are like what you had on UAD, um, AD, USD. I saw well on GP, USD. We also have the same situation here like a morning star, support level, like a support. This is a, this is just a, a, a mini support level. This is a major support level, right? For a uh, drone before. So this level is, is it's, it's, it's tentative. You can say just midpoint, just 50 percent. Those are it's just midpoint. But if you do it, then you notice that this level is around the 50% mark. All right, you can see it from this support, from this, from this, from here to here. And this green line we drew here is just 50%, confirming that it's just the midpoint between this support and this resistance. This is really bad that it draws resistance. So it just it's just a midpoint. So it is it is only natural for the market to get to this midpoint and react. It's very natural, right? It's a very natural flow for the market to react at the 50% mark, right? I will go there, turn it, it, it will react. So, my go, my, I feel my just go a little high to form it like a double top, maybe, and before the crash, the downside. That's, that's just my thoughts. And we, we could from here rally, continue going up from here, drop that back down. So, the thing is, Monday market, Tuesday market are very important. So they will tell us, okay, this is what the market is really doing. If you are buying, to tell us it's buying. If you are selling, it will also tell us that we are selling. So for our time frame, you can see we push back up, we we'll go to this level, this level. We tell me this, there's, there, are, there, there is, somebody will say there is an OB. There is, it's, 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 it's a significant level, right? It's in the way, it's kind of significant in the way. It's kind of significant in the way, so. Sorry, sorry, we'll get this off. So, the level is kind of significant in a way, right? Significant in a way, so if you want to look at it, if you want to look at it significant in a way, so that's why you are seeing the rules. I think Michael is still rally up, 
and I would love it, love to see it come down to give us that double bottom situation. That would be enough reason to say, look, okay, this guy will really rally up. Right, so that is that on UDUSD. So the next dude I want to look at for is UJ. Okay, UJ, 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 UJ. Now let's UJ for the multi time frame. You can see that UJ has been bullish. UJ has just been bullish for the past month. So right in the past month, UJ has just been on the rally, on the go. Let me clear all these lines I have here on my charts. Uh, I myself when having a con. I myself when having clean charts, right? So this was a range that was broken and we were, okay, fine. So you can see this is the next target for UJ for me. I think this is, this is the next target. So my, I feel my go from a double top in the following months before we expect any crash on UJ. On UJ. I feel we're, we're going to go up to form a double top before any crash. And this 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 seems like the final. Target and I've been calling this final targets for weeks now. I thought of you have been taking advantage of that opportunity. I, I believe you guys have been banking money back to back from the market. I think the thing is, JPYPS have been the only peers that have been favored. I've actually favored the uh, swing traders like myself. Um, you know, most, of, most of the trades have been sharing lately. I've been JPYPS. I've been sharing that I've been making money and all that. I've been JPYPS because this, these guys have been trending. And this guy, the Jiva Pace have been really, really trading. They have been, they have been doing well. Right? They have been doing well. So in, from the daily time frame, you can see that this guy is still coming down. So probably by Monday, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will want to add some long positions still, so I can take it up to this point. Right? Monday, Tuesday, the long, I will look for opportunities to long because I feel this guy is just gonna go. Well, at least get to this point before anything else. So I just those of you have been holding up to this point, these times and all that. You guys are. People will see you guys and Ophi. You will not know if you guys are. I've been, I've been, I've been chopping the market. Oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So, because this guy has just been trending up, or so I think I've been mad, crazily, crazily bullish. Crazily, crazily bullish. Right. My God, that's been crazy, crazy, crazy bullish. Right, this, this was a range situation. situation. Oh my God, just, just a, this is a past market situation, so I'm not even going bothered about it. So it's just a way that you broke out, more like we test and start rally, rally, going and going and all that. So I just wanted to paint a picture of that. So a clearer picture on UJ so that you can see it clearly that UJ will. This dude is trending, so I maybe if it breaks this, that's when I can be starts getting scared for UJ. Like, okay, UJ wants to dump, but for now, I feel uh, we are still on track on, on with this trend. Uh, we are still on track with this trend. Based on this trend, uh, based on this trend, we are still on track. Let me do something. Still on track. I feel I see much on track, so maybe a proper break and collapse elsewhere. But I cannot, I cannot start speaking English. So for now, I think it's market is still playing it safe on UJ. UJ is still playing it safe. Market UJ is still playing it safe. So let me go over to the next. That would is GG, GG, GG. There's a lot I would want to say, but I'm, I'm trying to rush this video so that um, I don't keep us spending much longer. But because we are, we are looking at the first video of the month of, of the new month, so we must look at the monthly time frame. All right, so you can see GJ, GJ is just doesn't send anybody, it's just, it has been crazily bullish, guys. GJ has been crazy, has, it has been the greatest, it has been one of the most, it has made it has pointed more for traders. It's, that's the, like the best performing PA. Of the in the month of June, right? DJ has, has been, despite the craziness and the randomness, right? But DJ has been the best. I must I'm give it its accolade, right? It's accolade. DJ has been the best for me pay for the month of June, right? That's why the ups and downs and also from the weekly time frame, you can see. So for the past how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. DJ has for the past seven weeks, DJ has just been massively bullish. 
that has been buying all through for the past seven weeks. So what makes things not gonna get here? Why right, those of you who are looking for a sell opportunity that's something like sell here? Yeah. Higher time frames is saying buy or go buy. Don't try to don't confuse yourself. Don't try to do don't do anything else. Right? Don't try to do anything else. Just follow what the market is saying and you make money. That's why you make money. Do otherwise and you cry. So from the multi time from the daily time frame, this guy is setting up nice nicely a range that will definitely break out upwards and you get to make pack make some money. Right, so this is like a range situation we're having here. Let me just put everything here. Let me just put this. This is like a win situation. We, we came down, can rally it up, then move sideways. I feel we're gonna shoot up from here. So you have to watch it. You have to watch it. You have to watch it on GG. You have to watch it on GG because it's about to get dirty, guys. It's about to, GG is about to print some box for us. Um, this one pair I would also be looking at. Pay attention to this pair of later. At least let me see. Let me grab some oil at least from here to this point. It's not bad. Right? Tell me about it. It means safe chop. Right? But then this is looking like we want to form a double top and uh, collapse. Let me collapse to this point. I don't think it's going to dump. So, so all of you guys who are waiting for, okay, double top. Wow, we're going to collapse down. That might happen. Right? But probability is low. But higher time frames are already pointing north. Since higher time frames are pointing north, there's nothing you can do about it, guys. You're going north. That's the truth. So don't try to, don't assume structures, right? Don't just assume, don't just see structures and say, oh, this is what the market wants to do. I want to go and shut down. It will shut you, it will shut you down. <laughs> it will just shut you down, guys. So uh, I think I will have, let me just watch this thing. The next time I look at this gold, I have a little piece to look at to, ah. Okay, let me, let me just look at everything, everything. Let's just do it, right? Let's just do it. Let's look at USD card, USD card, USD card. What does this guy say? But I think I made more of some money of this guy some time ago, uh, some time last month, some great amount of money. But I use just USD card alone to pass phase one of my profit challenge. Just USD card, just two days straight, and I and I was done with my first half um, first challenge with just USD card. Two days. I traded it on, on a Thursday, held the trade up to Friday, and I was done. My network is really, 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 really. This network, this network. Just they misbehave. This network, they make me the vex, so I'm gonna make them to shut up. Alright, this network, this network. So you can see, this is why I teach this. This is why I teach me. Let me see all that. So you can see, you got. Uh, uh, USD card from the monthly time frame. It's been really bullish, been really crazy, really crazy. So many lines. These are the pairs. This, this is why I, I hardly trade these guys because a lot of times these guys are always on the crazy, crazy range. Always giving some crazy, um, crazy, crazy. Let me remove this line here. This one doesn't it's looking like it's a noise, looking too noisy for me. Okay, I think I can, I can do make do with this. So this situation is what I just want. This range is just what I'm interested in right now. So you can see uh monthly monthly time frame market isn't just looking at a sideways movement. Market just moving sideways. Right, market just moving sideways on so the monthly time frame. Although bear we should like we're at the top and we're about to collapse down. So this guy seems like okay, that's a collapse. It seems like we're kind of collapse. What is weekly now saying? Weekly is now saying, okay, well, even that collapse self, we go drag her. So, this is like a neckline to this, maybe double top and, uh, and a winch and all that. So, this is like a neckline. So, I feel, uh, let's say I feel the market would might uh, come and play around, uh, I don't jump to this point, right? So maybe, or maybe my, this, either of this level, we see all this like, noise here. My effect the the overall flow of the market, but I feel the market might just dump down. So let me see from the daily time frame. So yeah, I didn't intend for this video to be this long, but please just bear with me. I know 
right uh, it's the first again it's the first video of the month so we just need to be as clear as possible because this is at micro situations projection for the whole month so these projections i'm giving you guys it's just it's for that whole month so that's why we're taking our time so i think i feel this guy might dump lower my drop level so this time frame you can see on we are more like a break and a retest of this level so we might we might just dump price might just dump lower so usd card is telling us that okay we have over 1200 pips to to catch right that's what it's saying over 1250 pips to catch that is what usd card is telling us on the daily time frame so your job is to position yourself accordingly to make this opportunity right so i didn't want to look at this before but now i think i'm i'm just i'm just seeing it too for the first time so i'm gonna i'll be discussing this guy with my with my students and uh discussing this period my students so we can see how to actually make bank all this money so as so if you're not in if you're not in my community it was me you're missing a lot right you're just you're leaving a lot of money on the table you made a little money on the table, you made a little money on the table. That's a gospel tool to do it. That's a gospel tool. So, wow, well, table top and it's about to go down. Since it's about to go dirty, right? It's about to go dirty on USD card. So, the next guy that has been really interesting somehow too has been USD. USD chef. Yes, where's that dude? See the diamond? Okay. Is it? Where is it, Chef? Wow. Let's see what this guy is saying. I think I've been looking at USD Chef or USD Canadian dollar. So the guys, again, my network is messy. Why? This is Nigeria. They would always Nigeria would always disgrace you any any day. So USD Chef, oh, it's not the best paid look out for what the multi time frame because of the many 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 range. I know, let me not look at this guy here. This guy is just something I do once in a blue moon, anyways. So I'm here, I do it once in a blue moon. So uh, there's no point looking at it. There's no point, there's no point, there's no point, there's no point. Can you see? Let me look at it from a weekly time frame. It's because why I said there's no point because this guy is just full of spikes, too many noise. Too many, too many noise. No matter how common with people, a, 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 a CHFPS. Come on with them, all this noise, all this noise, all this noise. Oh, let me go. This guy is not making sense. So let's, go, let's look at gold. So let's look at gold. Let's look at gold. What is gold saying? So you can see I called gold last week about uh, so I was about gold that you should be careful. That you should be careful with gold. I want to see gold actually clear below this level where you can see. Gold looked at how it was doing that and it's can see coming back up. So it is not blue. Even, even uh gold has been look at the range. Look at, look at, look at it from the money time frame. The first thing is you don't look at it from the money time frame. So from the money time frame, clearly gold is looking like okay, we have, have a strong rejection from the upside, we look about coming down. So it has a that's a possibility sure, of a dump on gold. There's still, there's still a possibility that gold is going to dump. There's still a possibility that gold is going to dump. So let me, let me clear the market for you so you can see clearly. Sometimes all these lines do, do just confuse you. Look at it now. Clearly, gold looks like something that is going to really drop down, come down. Truthfully, that's what it looks like right now. So from the weekly time frame, let's see what gold is now. What, what, what does it look like in the weekly time frame? Let's see that. So again, I'll just keep apologizing, right? This is for those of you who are in other countries, I don't know understand what it means for your network to hang. So this is Nigeria, our network used to hang here. So this is gold, you can see gold uh, gradually drop, just just dropping gradually, 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 taking it easy peasy, but it's still stepping down, right? Still stepping down this time. Right, uh, that's not that. So I'm trying to do something before, but let me just leave it like this. So let me leave it as a naked chart like this. So gold is just stepping down. So this, this is like the next target level for gold for me. This green bar here, I think gold is going to drop at this point. So look at it from the daily time frame and see, okay, what is the immediate situation of gold? What's the situation report on gold? 
you can see God has been bearish. Just bearish. So that's this was in this bullish seemingly morning star. It's sort of like uh, I feel might give us a pullback. Maybe just a pullback to this point. Maybe a pullback just maybe a pullback this area. This level right and just maybe we will pull back to this level before the dump. Right? That's just what I feel. That's what I feel right now that will happen. And that's what I feel that will happen. So for now, gold is just just stepping it in style, stepping down in style. So right? it's just stepping down in style. But for now, I think we're gonna be seeing gold bullish for a while. Let me just bring this back. We're gonna be seeing gold bullish to this point. I think this was my this is my projection on gold. Right, this is my projection on gold. This is what I think what it's gonna do. Father in heaven, I am tired. Although I met I looked at I actually looked at oil last week and did some things on oil, right? I saw oil. On, on touch this level and this move, I actually saw this move happen. Why well, didn't take it, right? I'm not the kind of person that will tell you guys I'm coming to fake it. No, I'm not faking it, nothing. I saw this move on oil, but I didn't take it, right? Because at, at that time, there was a strong news that was about to happen, so I didn't want to risk it. But then this bullish move happened, and I think just, I was not just, I've, I've not just been the best uh, uh, face oil for a long time so that's why i don't i don't really fancy like it, it, it just it was it, it was just about the, the end of the month i know every new month the there's always a new contract on oil so i don't want to just i don't i, I wasn't ready to take the gamble i wasn't ready to take the gamble so this oil that's been playing around this range so look at it from the monthly time frame again oil has been dropping 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 until it got to this point and this is, this is a strong support level that oil touched last month. And uh, you can see this bullish showing you they are trying to flex their muscles, but then the sellers are still trying to press them down. And go down, press them like samba bread. Right, uh, let, me, let me clear this one. This is not important. I think it is better like this. So, this is the win situation we are having. So, from the daily time frame, uh, this is it. This is it. You can say this is it. So I can just maybe just put this line here to craft, to craft this in between. So this is oil. This is oil. We are bullish on oil. So definitely oil is going to be getting to at least $73 per barrel before anything can happen. So if we break this $73 per barrel, so we're going to be seeing oil headed to $82 per barrel. If it breaks that, we'll be headed to, headed to $93 per barrel. So currently we are just around 70 70 dollar by pound. Right, so 73 is the next goal. Right, so this is 74. 24 dollar is, is the next goal for oil. So that's about oil. So you can BTC a lot of noise, also a lot of food and crazy talks around BTC, 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 BTC. So, so Mr. Sources, so what happened? What's happening? So let's, let's look at BTC. It is from the monthly time frame. How did BTC close? You can see this flow, this move here. Yeah, it's like Chucky Chan move. 31k. Well, BTC is at 30k, almost 31k. That's 30k. Closing strong with a strong bullish engulfing for the month. Right? So the new month is opening. It's going to open in style. So we might. Uh -huh. We well, might be seeing some bullish rallies, right? So I say you had it here first, right? So might be seeing some really, really bullish rides on BTC. Right, but then I will not be so fast on that yet until I see a clear break of this support, this resistance. We need to break it off, break off it, right? So uh last week was last two weeks. Last week, last two weeks now, I don't know what I was saying. My last week, my last weeks was really bullish. You can see BTC. That way that broke us, I broke it out and we took us here. And last week was just a doji uh, around this level. Well, this level is always a bad level. I always say take your profit. So I've not taken any position yet on BTC for now. I'm not taking any position on BTC for now yet because 
I want to see what's going to happen here. So on the daily, we are still very much. There has been, although there has been some constriction. Is that the right word to use? Constriction on BTC because uh, SEC uh, is trying to is, is still is, is uh, still dragging BTC, saying that. Uh, uh, a little drama between BTC and SEC. Let me not just speak. Let me not speak on the English right now. Right about some inadequacies of BTC on sports adoption and all that grammar they are saying. So uh, for now we are still on the way. So this is a very this is a very dangerous situation. We can grind you up from here. We can dump down from here. So this is the situation where you want to start entering to long or to short. You want to wait again. Okay? You would want to wait. This is a great time frame. My market speech is still looking crazy, crazy rough around here. So don't 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 get caught up in the in the in the field, right? You don't get caught up in the field. If not, you'll be the scapegoat, right? Any entry around you, you're already setting yourself up as a scapegoat in the market, right? You only be setting yourself up as a scapegoat in the market. So for now, I'm also I'm off I'm off the market and I advise you. Also to be off the market. So guys, I'm talking to you about the chart. So I have some very important information to pass to you guys on my next screen. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel up to now, subscribe to this channel right now. Make sure to subscribe to this channel right now because I have something very important for you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. So guys, welcome back to my screen. I told you guys got so much value from my chart. You've seen my projections for the month actually right these projections i've shared with you guys it's actually how i'm going to be looking at the market for the month of july or most importantly starting with this week so i'm going to be taking the market just step by step i'm going to be just taking some of these pairs gradually but then i know i've looked up i looked at different pairs and i know you're kind of confused on this so, so, so which of these ones are you going to really trade i'm going to be trading everything the answer is no i'm not going to be trading everything i'm going to be trading the best setups right so how do to I when would this best setup come up? When would they form and all that? That uh, is exclusive to the Forex Master students. Again, right? So these are informations I get to share with them. So these are the pairs. These pairs I'm going to trade. The pairs I'm my entry and exit. These are the only guys that actually get to see me when I take this trade. So if you really want to see when I'm going to be entering this trade, you want to take this trade with me, you want to make money with me and my team, then ensure to join the Forex Master. Uh, uh, community by signing up for the forest master program or the crypto master program to also get top notch um, coaching top notch signals top, top notch of money making opportunity across the market guys and also in genetics at genetics digitals we're actually trying to build one of the biggest one of the best uh, of uh, uh, financial systems models for you to be able to make money from the comfort of your home so if you're if you're watching this video up to now and you're not still you're still having doubts or questions about the market, the forex market, then trust me, guys, you are living a lot, right? Uh, you're, you're living a lot on your on the table, right? There's a lot you're not actually taking yet. There's a lot you're not really seeing yet. So, guys, and also very importantly, if you're up to now, you're yet to subscribe to my channel. You are so 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 wrong. So, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs so up. Share in the comment section which of these uh, peers makes more sense to you. Which of them are you going to be trading for the new week or for the month and all? And how you're going to make and also what you're going to be doing new or what questions you have for me from this video that I have shared with you. Leave me those questions on the comment section. And trust me, I'll always come and attend to all your comments, all your questions, and answer all your questions for you on the comment section yes guys and also there's a lot of other amazing stuff we are working on i'm working on with my team to bring up for you so this is a channel you don't want to miss so i don't want to miss out on anything i'm doing or breaking to you on this channel so guys uh i think that's pretty all i have to say so again get signed up for the forest master program or the crypto mastery program for some very premium information or premium opportunities i get to share weekly with Daily with my people, right? So, guys, uh, I think I'll be seeing you guys next week when the, when the market had uh, had played out. So, by then, I'll be showing you, showing you guys or sharing with you guys which guys I've traded, which guys I've used to have banked money with, and all that information. So you, you, we are all itching to hear. So, guys, have a beautiful week, month ahead. Enjoy yourself.